Welcome to part two of creating a uh, .NET Nuke DNN skin, custom skin. Video one, I said that video two, we were going to install the bootstrap menu, but the more I got into looking at how I wanted to do this course, uh, we're going to be including skin objects, talking about the client resource manager and creating a custom skin.css. The more I looked into it, the more I realized this really needed a video of its own. So video number three, we'll, we will install the bootstrap navigation. In this video, we're going to get our custom skin ready to work with bootstrap. We're going to include some common skin objects so we can add some things to our, our various panes, such as the logo token. Uh, to be one example, a login token be another. Things that we're going to want to use .NET Nuke to control and manage for us. And we're going to look at the Client Resource Manager. And uh, we're going to look at creating a custom skin.css so we don't have to mess with any of the core bootstrap CSS at all. I'm not a big fan of messing with core CSS. I'm a, I'm a bigger fan of... Uh, creating a style sheet that will load after the core stuff and creating our custom stuff so let's take a look right now this is where we left off we got this is a working skin right here we just had the control language up here control handles and we created a content pane and they give us a working skin and if you remember the last video I put a HTML module into uh, into it and tested it out made sure everything worked and this is what we got so from here we're going to get this thing ready to work for bootstrap I have these various skin objects here more, the mo more commonly used ones is the one that we're going to use uh, you can get this code snippet from my website skeeter z71.com just go to the find the DNN skinning and part two video so what we're going to do I'm going to go ahead and just copy copy this and I'm going to paste it right in here and I'm going to go over what these do I'm going to paste it right under our control language there what we have here are some of the common skin objects logo .NET Nuke provides a way to manage your logos from the back end so you don't have to hard code it into your HTML it's going to give us our search function. User login is going to give us some privacy and terms that are, are pre-built that will include, you know, your company name and everything into it, a copyright. Eh, we'll call them jQuery. It's going to allow us to use, put, you know, use the back end insert meta tags information. And we're going to use the DDR menu uh, with Bootstrap with the bootstrap menu to get it working right and then we got the client resource manager let me talk about that for a minute let's go to the back end go to host host settings and I believe it's under advanced settings I think yep there it is what the client resource manager has the ability to do is Increment if you click on this button, it will increment your jQuery and CSS when you get a new version It just increments the number to make sure a user coming along is not does not have an old cached version on their browser if you enable composite files and It allow you to minify your CSS and minify your JS now We're going to go ahead and use the main versions of bootstrap CSS and JS right off the bat But you can minify your custom CSS and everything it's going to help with the uh, the speed that your pages load if you use this I'll show you a website real quick I don't have an example site to show you the difference but I have uh, I have used this website to check things out you put your URL in here and for example I just recently did a uh, did one And it's going to analyze the speed of your page. This is at gtmetrics.com. That's gtmetrics.com. 
and it's going to give you a score using a Y slow and one other page speed and score page speed score and when I originally checked this site before I used the client resource manager put it in place I failed under page speed it gave me a failing grade and Y slow gave me a very poor grade now these aren't perfect but they're B's instead of having an F here and I had a, I believe I had a D here before I used the client resource manager it brought them both up to B's give me a score B so that's fairly good you can, of course you can go through and look and see what it's recommended and make other changes as well but that's a good little tool to check the before and after myself I would not use the client resource manager until I was completely done with, with my site because it will go in and minify everything for you and you might as well not mess with that until you're done so it's just a way to make your pages load a whole lot faster now in order to use it you have to tell your skin that you want to use it and that's what we put right here the dotnet new client resource management and then we told it some files we wanted to use which is bootstrap bootstrap js here we put viewport all viewport is doing is, is telling the device that's viewing the website that we are going to control how the page is displayed uh, if you don't have this you know most iPhones and Androids will zoom out on a website and then you can take your fingers and pinch and separate them and bring the website you know up bigger using viewport prevents it from zooming out it gives a one-to-one -one ratio of whatever you however you have built your site and those fonts and whatnot and uh, it's just a better way to you know if you're gonna build responsive sites you really need to use viewport so that's uh, in a nutshell that's getting everything ready for bootstrap now one more thing we're going to do in order to work with bootstrap we really need to use its uh, recommended methods of doing stuff so we're going to put we're going to wrap our content pane here in a div and a div with a class of container that's a bootstrap class and we'll save this and let's go back and look at the site you see immediately if you remember previously it was all the way over to the edge it's added some padding to the right and left side there and if we mess with the width we start seeing the responsive nature of it working with bootstrap so now we have our web page ready to work with bootstrap kind of went over what the client resource manager is about let me look at my notes here and see if there's anything else oh one more thing we want to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to create uh, a CSS file where we're going to do all of our custom styling at so I need my solution explorer to do this so I'm going to go to other windows because I closed it on accident solution explorer now there's a couple ways to do this .NET new DNN knows to look for a skin.css if it's there it will use it you don't have to create a path to it as long as it's in the root of your skin folder so if you click on your new skin folder right click and go to add style sheet skin dot CSS and take out the body selector there and just to test this out let's look at our page as it is now to make sure it's working see this heading one tag I'm gonna make it red we'll save that refresh the page and the heading one tag is now red if you notice I didn't put anything in here at all whatsoever to tell DNN to find that skin.css it just did it it knows where it's at however if you wanted to, to 
keep all your CSS all nice and neatly organized in a folder like I just did I just moved it to the CSS folder I refresh it's not gonna find it it's not gonna find it there so if you want to do it that way go ahead and uh, let me see which one is these we'll get this one here we'll copy it and paste and I'm gonna change this to skin give it a priority in 90s priorities are different loading these priorities are the different orders that will load at 15 is the highest priority I think I'm not hundred percent sure on this but I think portal dot CSS has 15 as its priority so just anything under 15 but I want it to be greater than 8 so I'm just gonna make it 9 because I want it to load after the bootstrap CSS so I can make my so I can make my custom edits so if you notice we now go here we reload we're gonna get our heading one so either way it work you know uh, me I personally like to have everything kind of in a folder CSS I like to have all my CSS in the CSS folder but skin.css is where we're gonna make all our custom edits you don't have to put it in the CSS folder you can do it originally the way I did it and you don't have to do anything about the paths because .NET Nuke knows how to find it well that will be all for this particular video in the next video we will install the bootstrap top nav menu to get the code snippets go to my website click on the tutorial button up top look for dotnet new scanning on your right hand column and look for video number two and you will have the code snippets to this video the other videos there are tutorials for illustrator photoshop dreamweaver wordpress css javascript and a whole lot more have a good day